afternoon our listener welcome to our video today we hope that you are fine from wherever you are watching this video from today we are looking at uh, chemistry revision and this is from one work this is a paper that was done by a particular school we have uh, question number one to question number 50 but today we are looking at question number one to number 20. Uh, if this is your first time to watch our videos, uh, we request you to consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, to the subscribers, we want to thank you guys uh, for your support. Question number one, define the following terms as used in chemistry. We have the first term compound. What is a compound? A compound is a pure substance made up of two or more elements chemically combined. Uh, two, what is a catalyst? Catalyst is a substance which alters the reaction rate but remain unchanged. And B, why is it important to observe the following laboratory rules? Uh, rule number one, label all uh, chemicals. Why do we label all chemicals? Uh, it is to avoid confusion. Two, uh, do not eat anything in laboratory. Why do we say that? And that is to avoid poisoning. Uh, question C, fill blank uh, spaces in the following table. We have apparatus and then we have the use. For you to be safe, you must know the, the apparatus apparatus or the apparatus in the laboratory and their use we have separating funnel what is the work of that to separate immiscible liquid to measuring cylinder their work uh, the, the use of that is to measure accurate volume and then spatula spatula is used for scooping solid substance and below we have an apparatus used in laboratory I use it to answer the questions that follow. You have an apparatus here, well drawn. We, you are told identify the parts labeled A. A is chimney, B is collar, uh, C is hair hole, and then D is base. So you can see the apparatus well drawn. Some other time, they can tell you to draw a well labeled uh, Bunsen banner. Question number three. You are told the diagram below shows uh, the changes that take place between states of matter. The diagram below shows the changes that take place between states of matter at the top we have gas at at the top we have let us start from the bottom we have the we have freezing we have uh, liquid we have uh, process uh, going on and those processes they are named and g h d uh, f you are told a uh, question number one give the names of the processes h h is uh, where we have gas changing to liquid that process is condensation then we have g where we have uh, we have um, ice um, ice three roman two you are told name one substance that undergo process f from uh, ice to gas that one is 
ammonium chloride two iodine number three aluminium chloride and next iron three chloride and then and the last one is bezoic acid bezoic acid uh, this question is very common they might bring it in your exam name one substance that undergo process f process f is uh, a substance that is ice changing to become gas what are some of the examples of uh, substance that undergo that process because not all substance you have ammonium chloride iodine and those others we have mentioned there a piece of chromatography a piece of chromatography paper was spotted with color and inks obtained from pen labeled one to six you're told number one that uh, the diagram below shows the spots after chromatogram which are developed so here you are told we have a uh, pen black we have yellow we have red ink we have blue ink we have green ink so we have uh, we have uh, five colors here five six we have six of them that is black yellow red blue green and the other one is not we are not told uh, which color is that then we have baseline and then we have solvent front so you are told which two pigments which two pigment are contained in pen 5 pen 5 you can see here and uh, those are yellow you can see yellow yellow and blue they are appearing in that in that light. let's move to number 4 roman 2 you are told according to uh, the chromatogram which pigment are present in ink of pen number six and those are red and yellow uh, we are through with this video and we thank you for watching up to the end until next time goodbye for now